Hi hello this is Anup here welcome back to the YouTube channel and in this video we are going to see how to upgrade to SSEM 1906 production version today Microsoft released SSEM 1906 production version in fast string so I would recommend trying this out in your lab environment or pre-production environment before going into the production deployment directly. To enable the fast string of 1906, you need to download a script from Microsoft and run that script on your standalone primary server or CAS server. And then you need to provide the site server's name to complete the enablement process of 1906. So once Microsoft announces slurring of 1906, then you don't need to run this PowerShell script. It will automatically appear within your SSEM console. I think 1806, 1810, 1902 versions of SSEM. As you can see in the video, the installation or upgrade process, basically it's not an installation process, it's an upgrade process. Upgrade process is straightforward. The only difference here I can see in the upgrade wizard is it is asking me to enable four new features. That is very interesting and that gives us a hint that you have a lot of new features available in 1906 version of SSEM. Let's go through the upgrade process and we will come back once the primary server is upgraded to 1906 and then we will go through the exciting features of 1906 in details. So here we go, uh, we have completed the 1906 production version installation and you can see the console version is 5.19061096150 and the site version is 88531000. Okay, so let's go to administration and check updates and servicing and check the versions so that is my favorite part <laughs> here we go okay so it's 5008853100 that is full version and 5008853106 that is a client version so as you can see it got installed successfully we can quickly go into some of the features new features which I can recollect um, in this video I will directly go to cloud services probably in the cloud services inside Azure services probably we can see desktop analytics so I have already created one with 1902 and particular KB article I forgot the KB article number now let's move on go to site configurations and check what are the changes over here let's go to properties Okay, in the properties, what you can see is there is a new change. Okay. 
can you spot that change if you go to if you go ahead and look at the tabs you can see a new tab over here that is communi communication security right but that is the same tab which where we had all the client related communications and kind of stuff like that so i think they have renamed that tab to communication security tab okay that makes sense anyways apart from that i don't think any major changes i can see in this let's go to configure site component properties and let me check software update point one of my favorite feature right third party updates let's check whether there is anything extra or anything updated in third party updates no nothing is there from this software update point component properties next favorite stuff that is wsus maintenance so so let's i think maximum runtime that is one change i can see over there if i can go back to software update point properties okay you can see maximum runtime for windows update feature that is 120 minutes and maximum runtime for office 365 updates and non feature updates for windows that is that means patches right so that is very useful okay let's check the next part of it what is next okay so another important change which i can spot is site maintenance if you go and check out this is the this is a basic old kind of a window for site maintenance if you cancel it and if you go to the downside menu and you can see a tab over there so that a tab says maintenance tasks in the maintenance task you can see so that is very useful right you can enable it disable it edit it okay and you can you can see when schedule latest start time schedule start after last completion time so these are very handy information earlier we used to have a sql query to get this result and i have a post related to that as well if you want to get a sql query uh, please refer to the description of this video so that you will get the link okay anyways that is a good catch right i can see one ntlm related management insights that is very useful over here probably you can see a new discovery that is azure active directory user discovery options right you can discover the azure active directory group members and there is another option also over here that is synchronizing the collections right so these are useful options enable active directory group discovery so this is a new option and over here you can see enable azure active directory group sync that that is very nice option as i already mentioned you can see desktop analytics connector and you can see the properties in 1906 build and if you go to the properties you can see the configurations and you are able to change the configurations also from the properties
okay anyways if you create a co-management option over here if you click on a uh, co-management option and configure the co-management then you would be able to see pilot group option sorry pilot collection option for all the workloads available so i'm not going to go through that but i have a different video which shows all these configurations i can link that video to this this video's description so that you can watch it okay anyways there are other many changes which i am not going to go through in this video probably i will make it as a blog post okay and i will cover that so if i go to soft software updates okay and if i if i go to third party catalogs and try to add type okay only okay there are three partner catalogs now dell hp lenovo so if i can go and check that out i don't know whether v3 version of catalog is available in 1906 or not i don't have a v3 version catalog to test that but anyways if you have one you can test it out whether it's published in 1906 production version or not i could see that in 1906 technical preview version but i am not sure in the production one whether it it is available in production or not okay there are other interesting options available in applications you can group the applications grouping of applications that is pretty pretty nice feature which i am not going to cover in this video uh, but you can create a group of group of applications and deploy it to the collections and you can order the um, each applications in the group so that will that will basically serve as a task sequence not exactly as a task sequence but uh, chaining of applications basically okay anyways there are many changes in software sender and all the other configurations in the client settings right so if you if you go to the client settings you can see uh, there are new options and some renamed options also okay if i can go back to assets and complaints and come on if i can go back to administration and check the client settings default client settings and go to properties Let's see. Client settings, cloud services, complaints, computer agent. Okay, computer agent took bit time. <laughs> yeah, there are there are software updates changes or software sender changes basically, uh, which you can see and configure in the in the client settings. Delivery optimization, peer cache. there are some changes in pr cache or there are some advanced setting options available i don't know how many of you are still using software metering and all is that still relevant for your organization that would be an interesting story to hear <laughs> windows analytics okay So there are changes in application approval model also. So there are some interesting changes in 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 that framework that is very useful for some of the scenarios. 
and in the software center i forgot to mention that uh, application catalog role role is depreciated so software center got more power and all the user available applications will also powered through software sender framework and management point okay anyways let's let's look into the next thing the task sequence has some really interesting options in 1906 so 1906 comes with task sequence debugging option so if you can right click and deploy a task sequence okay and select debug option and deploy that particular task sequence to a mission and analyze what is going to happen if you deploy that task sequence to that particular mission anyways that is that is pretty nice for the troubleshooting stuff okay you can assign it to, to a collection of devices and check that out okay so cool cool stuff if you can go to there is there is one more interesting feature available in task sequence now if you can go to software install application you can see a new option over here see clear application content from cache after installation this is very useful clear application content from cache after installing that is very useful option another important pre caching option available in 1906 is you can pre cache images drivers that is that is that is very useful option earlier it was only available for update images if i am not wrong are you a fan of software sender shortcut keys if you are a fan of shortcut keys there are lot of options available to launch the software sender using start menu run okay just just look out for the documentation 1906 documentation i will link that documentation to the description of this video last but not the least right we have an option our back control available for the folders that is pretty nice right if you have a collection folder you can have a our back control for those folders if you right click on this and you can see set security scope that is pretty nice right you can play around with this you can remove some of the admin groups or scope groups from this folder so that that scope of admins won't see this particular folder that is pretty nice improvement okay that is it from my side on 1906 new features i will cover more details in a blog post and i will link that blog post to this video description Thank you for watching. Bye for now.